Your question or questions are not the only place to locate keywords. So there are several places where you can go and find all types of keywords. My favorite spot to start in is our database called Credo Reference. And Credo Reference it has all sorts of encyclopedias and dictionaries and other reference material. I like going here to get background information to make sure that I understand the general topic that I'm going to start to explore. So let's type in memory and I get a, a basic overview of the topic from one of the encyclopedias, then further entries are going to be listed below that. On the right hand side, you'll probably see a mind map. I'm just going to expand this so that you can see what it does. So here I have memory in the center and it's connected to all sorts of different terms. I can change that by just going to cognitive psychology and it rearranges the concepts to make the connection to other terms. If I were to collapse the mind map, what happens is if I had clicked on another term, cognitive psychology, you're going to see a whole new set of entries related to that new term. So this is a great place to make those connections to other terms that are going to be useful for your research. And you'll also notice in these entries, they may give you the key concepts listed. Another place I like to go to at the very beginning is in our EBSCOhost database collections. Just so you know, just a heads up, EBSCOhost is our vendor, but they carry different collections within it. So if you were to go to choose databases, you can see the complete list that we have available to us. If you really wanted to, you could select all and click OK to do a search through all of the different collections. Where I like to go first is up in the blue toolbar, there's going to be like subjects or something like that. If you were to click on subjects or subject terms, it will take you to what we typically call um, the thesaurus, but basically it's the database's dictionary or collection of subject terms that they use. So subject terms are basically the what we call authoritative words um, that will give you the best results. So you can see even here when you open it up, there's some terms that are in blue or in black. The blue ones are going to be what are the best words. They're the words that you want to use instead of the black ones. You can see use this word. So I'm going to put into the browsing search box memory and you can see you can have it your term start at the beginning of it has to be listed as the first word, or you can just have the word contains or something relevant, right? So I always like to use the term contains, but you can play around with that. I'm hitting browse and my list comes up with the different terms related to memory. And by default, memory is going to probably be the first one at the top of your list or the one your search term. If you were to open it up by clicking on it, you'll see uh, the scope notes, which are basically the, the collections definition of what this word means. Further down, you're going to see broad terms, which are the big umbrella words related to your term. So intellect, mental discipline, psychology, there are narrower terms, so they're going to be a lot more specific within what memory is defined as. So you can see animal memory, deja vu, hindsight bias, like all these different words. 
And then you have related terms, which are ones that are similar or somehow connected to it. Think about the mind map in Credo Reference. It also gives you sometimes what they recommend memory should be used for instead of these terms. So you can jot these down, add them to your research log, and it will be a great place to get you started in creating that search strategy. You can find keywords in background readings, like encyclopedias and in dictionaries. You can look up terms in a thesaurus or maybe the table of contents or index of a book. And you can pull keywords from relevant articles that you've already found. Consider using names of experts as keywords or synonyms, subject headings in the bibliographic information, related terms that you might find, or just main concepts 